Hi guys, if you're watching this video, you're probably thinking of moving to the greater Boston area. My name is Frank Carroll of the Frank Carroll Homes team at Compass. In today's video, I'm going to talk about an area just outside of Boston called Brookline. Brookline is, was named one of the top places to live in the country in 2020, actually in the top 10, and the number one city to live in Massachusetts in 2020, according to the website Niche. My name again is Frank Carroll of the Frank Carroll Homes team. Please be sure to like my page, follow my page, comment on all of my posts. You can always reach me via text, cell phone, email, anytime. You can call me for your real estate needs. Be sure to visit my website, frankcarrollhomes.com and also compass.com for the latest listings as well as information on the market and the, and the neighborhoods as well. So one of the reasons why I really like Brookline is because it's very close to the city of Boston. It's easy to commute from, and also it, it's basically a, a really good area for families and a little quieter, less noise, but a lot to do. So for the first pro of living in Brookline, it would have to be the walkability. Brookline is a pretty large town with many different areas within it, such as Coolidge Corner, Washington Square, Brookline Village, Chestnut Hill. There are many options to live in Brookline, so I think it's a question of whether you want to be on the train, if you want a more suburban feel with a large outdoor space, if you want a large elevator concierge building or something you know, closer to the ground. So basically, it's a question of what your priorities are. Uh, as far as the walkability of Brookline, I think it is definitely an easy place to get around, especially if you have children. There are parks all over the place. You can walk to shops and restaurants. Pro number two of living in Brookline would have to be the parks and green spaces. So Brookline is partly a part of the Frederick Law Olmsted Emerald Necklace, which was created in the late 1800s. It's a continuous park system that starts in the back bay and goes all the way through Brookline towards Jamaica Plain. So you have a selection of parks like the Quarry Hill Overlook. You have the Brookline Reservoir and Chestnut Hill, which is a wonderful walking path. Beautiful with, with all these estates alongside of it. You have lots of playgrounds and baseball fields for children all throughout the neighborhood, interspersed in Coolidge Corner and Washington Square and Brookline Village. So it does have a really good amount of green space and many, many trees, which is one of the reasons why I do love the Brookline area. Pro number three of living in Brookline would have to be the food scene. One of the biggest perks of Brookline is you have a diversity of cultures there from Russian people, Jewish people, Italian people, Spanish people. So it, it creates a, a great diversity of cuisine. You know, we have Taberna de Jaro, which is a great tapas Spanish restaurant. We have Barcelona, another tapas place. There's the public house, which is an ale house, which also has really good food and one of the largest beer selections in the area. There are Vietnamese places, Thai places, Chinese food. You have Fugyaku, which is really good Japanese food. So just endless options. I um, just thought of Zaftigs, which is one of the best delis, Jewish delis in Brookline. I go there regularly for food. There's Dorado Tacos, which is some of the best fish tacos in the area as well. So definitely you will not run out of food options. Also the Brookline Booksmith is one of the best bookstores I've ever encountered with a wonderful selection of books. Also for food, you have Trader Joe's, which is a wonderful budget supermarket which also sells wine and beer. I think that's a great option. Whole Foods is throughout Brookline in different areas as well, and you can drive and park there. Pro number four living in Brookline would have to be the Chestnut Hill area has some of the most shopping you can find. You have stores like Bloomingdale's, you have big shopping malls. Pretty much every large brand is there. You have Wegman Supermarket, so it's only a short drive from Boston or, or other parts of Brookline to go to this area where there's a high concentration of businesses, shopping, food, movie theaters, all really close by and all really in the same general vicinity. Pro number five of living in Brookline would be the public transportation system. You know, you have mostly the Green Line running through Brookline, so you have the 
Sea Line, which is on Beacon Street, which goes all the way through from downtown Boston, Back Bay, all the way through toward Boston College. And then you have the D Line, which is towards Longwood Medical Area. So a lot of doctors and nurses and medical staff love Brookline because you could just jump on the train and be be there in only a matter of possibly minutes or 10 minutes or something like that. And now for the cons of living in Brookline. So honestly, I, it took me a little bit of time to think about what are the cons of living in Brookline. There really aren't that many because there's so many positive aspects, but it really depends on who you are. So I think con number one would be you cannot park overnight on the street in Brookline, which is a real pain. If you have friends and family visiting and if you're commuting for work, so it basically adds an additional expense to your budget of having to pay for parking or look for an apartment, condo, or house that already includes parking. You know, so parking costs can be anywhere from 150 for an outdoor space to, two, to 250 a month for a garage parking space. If friends and family are visiting, they have to basically park elsewhere or find a garage to park overnight. So that's definitely one of the biggest cons of Brookline for sure. Con number two would be the real estate prices are extremely high, some of the highest in the country. You know, it's an area, Brookline, of many different sub areas. Like I said before, Chestnut Hill being one of the most expensive parts of the country where a single family could be anywhere from $2 million to $5 million given how big they are, how grand they are, and the amount of land they have. And you know, the, the school system, as I also said before, makes this area so desirable, so it drives up the real estate prices. So if you weren't looking for a house and you were looking in, say, Coolidge Corner, you could buy a condo, a one-bed condo, for anywhere from 400,000 to 600,000 or more, a two-bed condo, anywhere from 600,000 to a million dollars. A three-bed condo usually will be 900000 to north of $1.5 million. Rental prices, a studio could be $1,800 a month. A one-bedroom could be $2,200 to $2,800 a month. A three-bed could be $3,800 to $5,000 a month. Single-family rentals in Chestnut Hill could be $10,000 a month. So there's definitely a variety of prices and, and ranges depending on your needs. I mean, the good news is Brookline is not as expensive as parts of Boston, you know, like Bat Bay or, or Beacon Hill can be even more expensive than Brookline because of the addresses versus, you know, Coolidge Corner, there are pockets that are more affordable. Brookline Village, there are pockets that are a little bit more affordable than even Coolidge Corner. So it's all relative and um, that's the best way to look at it. Con number three of living in Brookline would be it is very quiet at night. So if you are young and looking to go out and go out to a bar at 11 o'clock at night, chances are you're not going to find one. You have to go to Brighton or Alston or Cambridge or Somerville or downtown Boston. So you have to factor that in. You know, you could have the quiet and the green space and all the positives I've talked about. But if you're 25 years old, maybe Brookline isn't the best neighborhood for you, depending on your personality and what you like. So something to think about, you know. At 10 o'clock at night, I've been in Brooklyn and it's like crickets, look seriously on a Friday night. So just depending again on where you are, Coolidge Corner, maybe there's more going on at 10 o'clock at night. But if you're in Brooklyn Village or Chestnut Hill, it is really quiet. So something to think about, but you could also always go nearby to Austin Brighton where there are plenty of bars and restaurants, a little bit of a younger crowd. So keep that in mind. So all in all, you know, there are a lot of good pros and cons of living in Brookline. The pros to sum up would be the school system, the walkability, the public transportation, the food options, the green spaces, the diversity of people that live there, and the proximity to Boston. The cons would be the lack of overnight parking. It's quiet at night, so it's not good if you're young and looking to have a nightlife. Uh, the real estate prices are extremely high in some parts of Brookline as well. Um, so those are really the pros and the cons in my opinion. So if you would like market data on this area, I could send you the latest market data. The fourth quarter report was just released for 2021. I'd be happy to send that to you as well as detailed information on current listings, what's, has, what has sold recently, a range of, of the comps that have sold. Um, I do, I've worked in Brookline for many years now, so I know it really well. I could help help to direct you to some good rentals and good condos and single families. I have access to some wonderful information through my company, Compass, 
We have off-market coming soon listings that never are on the MLS or Redfin or, or Zillow. So it gives me a tremendous um, access to these things that other brokers do not have. So please be sure to like my page, follow my page, comment on my posts, contact me anytime via text, email, call or about your, your search for real estate. If you have questions about Brookline or other parts of, of Boston or greater Boston, I'd be happy to help you. So again, my name is Frank Carroll of the Frank Carroll Homes team. My website is frankcarrollhomes.com. My email is frank.carroll at compass.com. So I will, I'm here for you whenever you have any questions and it's my pleasure to help you.